Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Southwest Hardy Palms. Well, I'm back again here with two new agaves that I just got in the garden. These are Agave Perii Huachuquensis from the Huachuca Mountains in uh, southeastern Arizona and southwestern New Mexico. Um, really, really spectacular specimens. Um, I got these from a, a local nursery here in Utah that I've talked about a few times. It's a High Country Gardens, um, and they do mail order as well. So uh, I saw they had a ton of these, um, and they were uh, $30 a piece for these, uh, I believe they're five gallons. Uh, so I thought that was a pretty good price. I've seen them for a little bit cheaper in Southern Utah, but that wasn't too bad at all. Way better than you to find online. So I was going to be planting uh, two Dacelerions here in this, in this spot, in these spots, but uh, you know, the more that I see mature specimens in southern Utah, I am absolutely sure they would not fit in these spots here. Um, they get massive, um, and also when I was in St. George to go buy some, some guy literally bought out every Dacelerion from every nursery in the valley. So there was, like, they basically had no stock anywhere in St. George, which sucked. I guess some guy was building some huge, uh, huge house, and he bought, like, thousands of them or something. So I couldn't find them, but uh, also probably not a good choice for these spots. So I uh, decided to pick something a little more uh, close to the ground that doesn't get such a huge trunk. And these guys don't get any trunk. But uh, these guys are hardy down to around zero degrees. Um, they're not as cold hardy as like the natural, or not natural, just the, you know, regular agave perii. Um, they are hardier than agave perii truncata though. Um, and they get about three feet wide, three to four feet wide and three, about three feet tall. Um, and this is an agave that, uh, that forms little offshoots. So you'll commonly see them like in a, a group of like six or seven. And they're just really beautiful so i'm hoping this creates some offsets and uh, kind of just fills up this whole entire area in this uh, front entrance walkway here um i'm sure i'm gonna have to be taking a lot of these perennials out eventually because this will uh, get very large but i just wanted to show you guys that real quick super gorgeous so happy that these are becoming so common at nurseries here in utah I've seen so many of them planted in gardens also in my city. They're, they're actually pretty common. You can see them like, say one out of 20 or one out of 30 houses maybe has one. Super cool. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Take care.